Okay, in a minute here, you're going to see the slideshow for the re uh, removal of the top and the swapping out of the light meter from this camera, actually from this camera, to this camera. This is the parts donor. Um, I think I covered it reasonably well. Uh, I hope I did. Uh, there's a couple of errors in a couple of the video pieces. Uh, one is I made a point of saying to be real careful about uh, how you have the meter adjusted when you take it apart. Uh, I wasn't thinking that is not correct. It doesn't matter. As long as you get all the pieces and parts in the right order, this is just a dial. It's not coupled to anything. Uh, all you do is you turn it based upon your film speed, which is the window you probably can't see right there. Uh, so it you don't have to worry about it being in exactly the right position when you take it apart or put it back together again. Just don't lose any pieces. Uh, I apologize for that. And there was one more uh, in somewhere. I, I mentioned it in a different piece of video. I don't want to cover the same ground more than four or five times if I can help it. Um, I hope you find this helpful.
so during this minister Yashika Minister D project I ran into a problem what I thought were identical cameras turned out to have minor design flaw, uh, differences I got uh, the new not new it's the uh, light meter from the parts donor camera that I put onto the good camera and in order to do that I had to take the rangefinder systems out of both now, this is where the, the difference lies in the rangefinder that goes in a good camera it screws down at this point and at this point in the one that came out of the donor camera which I thought I could just swap back and forth it screws down here and in here so obviously that creates a problem now the reason for that was when I was working on this one I took the time to also clean the glass and I discovered that the beam splitter glass which goes right in there has a very delicate coating on it you can see where I've washed it away with Windex and a q-tip so that killed that and I was going to just swap this one for that one but the design difference made that not practical so I went to the internet and eventually onto eBay and found a seller who was selling beam splitter glass and this is a 50-50 beam splitter and all that means is that 50% of the light passes through the glass and the other 50% is reflected now this looks I don't know if you can tell probably not from the image but from my point of view you look straight at it and it's gold you get it in the right light and it switches from blue to, to purple to red anyhow it's what I could get and I cut a piece from a full piece down to the size that I actually need <clears throat> so the next part is going to be to install my new piece into my rangefinder and hopefully that'll be okay I test fit it by hand and tried it out and I took it out last night in fairly low light I was surprised at how well it performed um, so I'm pretty optimistic about that and I'm going to glue it in place uh, right there using some fingernail polish and then I'm going to reinstall it and finish finish the installation of the light meter here's the old one it's all it's already in the in the slideshow but I'll just show you that that's the actual meter there's the photo cell so and that's where I am at now and um, I will show you the details as I go along okay so uh, I've reassembled the this is my donor camera I'm using this one because my good camera is upstairs I, uh, so I'm going to just use this one for demonstrative purposes I've reinstalled the the rangefinder assembly uh, on, the, on the camera I'm actually working on I've uh, battery tested the light meter it does still work which is awesome uh, but I wanted to address one issue when I on the other camera I replaced my beam splitter um, I had to re-glue uh, re this mirror right here uh, and that's the mirror that, that creates the, the glowy corners in your viewfinder uh, one thing I wanted to take take a minute and deal with was adjustment of the range finder now after screwing around with this thing as much as I did both horizontal and vertical adjustments were totally off the map so I did a lot did some online research and discovered that for every person who posts something there's a different story uh, so I'm gonna 
tell you what I found and I just did this so I'm going to show it to you this screw here on on the other one it's it's actually to the back but on this one there's a screw right here let's see if I can get in close and I will use my pointer right here is one screw and this right here this is a mirror this is the platform it sits on and this is the screw behind it this one adjusts I don't know what people are calling what I call this the horizontal adjustment because it's making two images come together like that there seems to be some I don't know if different models of the same camera do things differently or what <clears throat> but I've seen this screw right here referred to both as horizontal and vertical adjustment I just 20 minutes ago did this and this little teeny screw behind this little teeny mirror does your horizontal what I'm calling your horizontal image it makes this image and this image come together like that this screw right here does your vertical makes this image and this image come together this way uh, and <clears throat> on at least three websites I saw not only these two screws confused but also a different adjustment uh, confused I'm saying confused I could be wrong but seems to me a, a Yashica Minister D should be a Yashica Minister D as I said before in the last in the last part of this video there's some design differences but it's basically the same camera uh, so those are the two screws I used to get the horizontal and vertical to come together it's still it's still off a little bit I gotta work on it some more but it's pretty darn close this one here is very adjustable uh, that screw just presses against this little platform that the mirror is glued to you may have to bend that or tweak it a little bit um, because I can't show you the resolution is not going to be good enough but the mirror here <clears throat> this little platform is part of the base that it's mounted to and it's got a little flexible tab that holds the two parts together <coughs> excuse me and as you screw that screw in it pushes on the mirror and the mirror wants to do this so you may have to just bend that back a little bit as I did to get proper adjustment so again when you are screwing that screw in it's making that little tiny mirror bend forward you may have to bend it back but that's not a guarantee uh, that's all I wanted to cover because there's a lot of confusion uh, about how to adjust this and it was pretty simple uh, I'm good I may not be able to get it perfectly because I did have to change this glass so there's a difference I don't know how much of a difference it makes the the glass probably is not the exact same thickness um, it's ref reflective and refractive capabilities may be different uh, this has been adjusted and may not necessarily help with any other poor adjustments the whole thing's been removed it's been played with it's been put back down it may not have screwed down to the exact same position that it was in before but I've got it pretty close and I'm pretty satisfied with it and I, as I said I, I battery tested the meter the newly installed meter and it does work so so far everything is working out pretty well okay so here we are at the end got the minister D all back together I didn't sh make a video of putting the top on because it's pretty straightforward you got a screw on either end there's one here there's one here uh, film rewinder uh, the knob on the meter and the knob on the film wind and it slides up it does have the the uh, the uh, yeah the thingamajig the photo cell right there which is wired in 
uh, so you want to be careful taking it off. But otherwise, it's very straightforward taking it off, put it, putting it back on. And I think I covered everything reasonably well um, in the slideshow. And I wanted to show you, because I had to use this beam splitter, which when you're sitting here, appears to be gold in the right light. Let's see if I can get it until you tilt it. So it's not going to probably show gold to the camera, but as you turn it, you can see it changed blue to purple, and there's a red in there. And I think I can put you right up to the viewfinder. And there's the view to the viewfinder with the parallax correct. And you can see the center point for focus and you can see that the purplish reddish coloration um, so I'm actually fairly happy so far with that funny glass that funny beam splitter glass in there uh, I haven't run a roll of film through it yet but I'm reasonably optimistic the I don't know if you can see this or not but the light meter does work. Uh, you can you can see it twitch down there and here in the not enough light. Um, and that's all. And I was successful so far. I even put a correct strap on it. Um, so I'm looking forward to taking this out in the field. I hope I covered everything. Uh, I made kind of a sloppy mess out of this. Uh, because of the editing and, and whether well, no editing and I, I ran across a couple of problems along the way so I hope this was helpful and good luck and don't forget this is a great way to destroy your